Captain's Log. Start date? August 16th, 2009. I don't want to go all right here, but I feel like some shoes need to be made between Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Hmm. Firstly, or for no, but yeah. Rock Band. One and two, though. Yeah, the track pads. You know, that they, they, you know, y'all release, y'all are harmonious release now and then. You know, it's fine to some as discs in the game stores and toy stores and whatever. But yeah, you know what? You're losing money by packaging, by printing the codes on the back of the manuals, as you do. Anyway, if you're gonna do that, then if you're gonna do that, then make sure that the store owners take out all the manuals in those things. Otherwise, somebody could just walk right on in to the game to the GameStop, pull out the manual, and just hand write the can write the code on the back and download the tracks for free. You be those, you're 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 just that's a basic fail right there to borrow a term from the trolls. You know, you just just a basic fail. You mean you're walking right into it? I mean, especially and that's another thing. You know, people could just walk not only that, but people could just walk right in, buy the track pack, and then uh, redeem the code. And then go return the game and get their money back. That's just a bad. That's just a bad deal right there. So what I would suggest is, in addition to releasing the uh, track pads on disc, do not add a code to redeem for downloading them. Let them be for sale for a smaller, a smaller fee, like say about half price, on the PlayStation Network, Guess What Live, or Wii stores. Let the download of tracks be for sale for half price versus the original MSRP value. And then if the MSRP goes down, then reduce them on the stores as well. Yeah, and another thing, Guitar Hero, it originated on PlayStation 2. I don't know why people are playing it on the head spots, especially since I hate the head spots and they, they promote so much. Anyway, it, it, I mean, Wii's okay, but I mean, you know, so many problems with it. Anyway. If you really want to branch out, like you've been doing, amongst the other amongst the other consoles, I mean, you re you redid Guitar Hero 2 for Xbox, redo that, and original Guitar Hero 1 and Guitar Hero Encore Roxy 80s for Xbox and Wii, and also why not also redo both all three Guitar Heroes 1, 2, and 3 in a special edition version for PlayStation 3, since all the Guitar Hero history originated on PlayStation 2. And, and also, uh, you know, when I see, yeah, Rock Revolution, I mean, I know, it went downhill fairly quick, as you know. Yeah, Konami, it did okay, but you know what? Just a drum kit? You should have made your own guitar to go with it. Or, like, you know, say, hey, go ahead and use Rock, rock Band or Guitar Hero get drums, but still, we'll our own drum kit. It's like, you know, yeah. It's like a review on the uh, G4 channel. Yeah. Yeah, hey, look, Konami's finally trying to make it break out of the Dance Dance Revolution with music instruments. And the only instrument they could bring is a drum kit. <laughs> like, heck, drums already include rock band and guitar hero. Try making a better drum that does not have six. It has five. One, two, three, or four drum pads and one, two cymbals. So that it could be compatible with both rock band, but more, more easily compatible and more capable of understanding for playing durability between Guitar Hero and Rock Band. You should do that if you're going to make a sequel for Rock Revolution, like, you know, Rock Revolution 2. Remake the drum kit, do guitars, make a microphone. If you want to add a dance dance touch to it, go ahead. Some people like to actually play. I don't know how they can do it at the same time, but like, you know, play guitar and dance on a dance pad. Like those, like an episode of Simpsons. I'm sorry. That was a fun bit. <laughs> the comic guy had business, though. Anyway. So anyway, uh, in the music business, yeah, just to uh, re recap. Yeah, go ahead and give the uh, promotional coach, you've included all your uh, rock band track packs and expiry date of December 31st, 2009. And uh, then start offering all the track packs for half price on the PlayStation Store, Xbox Live Market, and Wii Store. And, uh... Yeah, we do Guitar Heroes 1, 2, and 3 for PlayStation 3 and Wii. And we do Guitar Hero, I'm sorry, Guitar Heroes 1, 2, and Encore for PlayStation 3 and Wii. And we do Guitar Heroes 1 and Encore for Xbox 360. If you really want to branch out, 
you got to go all, all the history between the th multiple consoles. I mean, originate from the PlayStation. Everybody knows that. So there. And uh, yeah, Konami, give it another go. But yeah, learn from the mistakes. Take your advice from the G4 review. No wonder you got low grading, especially since I played myself, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. the horizontal thing, mm -hmm. yeah, kind of sucky compared to what we have in Rock Band, where it's like everything's coming at you. Think about Konami. You can do better on Rock Revolution 2 or upgrade Rock Revolution 1 anytime. Okay, that's my spiel on the music business. I'm thinking about maybe doing a downloadable track review on Guitar Hero. But that's just maybe, or a possibility. Only for the YouTube. But I'm still drawing to Sanji Comics. As I am the original creator, I've given life to Sanji Roshi and everybody. I'm keeping the responsibility. They will be on paper, officially, from my own, from my own hands, and from my own authority, and my own signature. Soon, I am working on it. Papers are in the works. So there. I would appreciate the continued support from all the good fans and trolls. I know you haze me just to try to encourage me. Believe me, you don't need to be hazing me to encourage me. You could just be friends. I mean, stop mocking. I get it. I'm working on it. So anyway, with that, stay safe, peace, Autobots, transform, and roll out. Oh, and one more thing. The uh, Harmon is people behind Rock Band. You really want people to keep those game discs? Then yeah, take my advice. Don't put the codes in there with the manuals. Or encourage the store owners to take out the manuals off of the, st off of the store shelf displays. And uh, give those codes on a expired day of like uh, December 31st, 2009. And start offering all the track packs as downloadable content in addition to the game discs. I mean, no wonder we got an economic decline, I mean, especially since everybody's like, you know, just get the code, get it all for free, and returning it, or just write it down. Think about it.